All right, so welcome back everyone. I hope you're enjoying this 90 days challenge for security plus examination. All right, so uh, this lesson is about data classification. This is going to be very, very important for you because I'm not just going to talk about some theory. There's going to be some practical stuff as well. So be with me. If you haven't subscribed the channel, make sure you do that now. Now, let's get started with our topic. Now we are going to talk about the data classification. You see closely the first, uh, you know, uh, there could be different kind of a data, but the most important uh, category or the classic, uh, the way we classify the data uh, on the top is the government or maybe military based data. Okay. So in uh, an organization who is dealing in the government sector or semi government sector or public sector environment, they would be dealing with the top secret data, secret data, confidential data, you know, those NSA, CIA stuff, or you know, for any organization, every every intelligence department, they, they maintain some highly confidential top secret data for, uh, you know, which are very, very important for every government and if that has been leaked then it's a that leads to a huge consequences for you know many many factor all right so that's a threat that's a huge risk for the government as well now when it comes to a normal uh, private sector or private organization in those situation there of course can be uh, you know uh, critical data secret data top secret but i'm categorizing that as a standard classification so it's not that uh, private companies cannot be having a top secret or secret or confidential data it's just the way of way we categorize them right so if we talk about the standard classification in this situation we can have a data or information like pii which is the uh, personally identifiable uh, information so uh, it could be your uh, social security number or you know or the uh, the any any kind of a number which can identify the citizen or the member right and that could be a phi as well which is the protected health information which is uh, every every citizen uh, who who is dealing uh, who has the health information will be having the phi as well so every uh, country has got their own way of pai and phi as well most of the developed countries uh, have it for sure there could be a proprietary information as well very specific to the organization it could be trade secret now this is very important trade secret could be related to their business maybe just like mcdonald has got their own secret recipe uh, you can you can you can see kfc has got their own secret right trade secret the way that is being responsible for securing their business maybe pepsi coca cola they have got their own trade secret right the, the secret sauce i would say <laughs> now there is a critical and financial data as well of course the uh, it's not that it is for private sector and this is for public it's just the way uh, i'm referring you know in terms of volume volume of data okay organization can also classify the data as top secret and secret as well depends on the model they are working on okay i'll show you to you don't worry about it now then once you understand and categorize the data now it's your job to discover it right discover the data why it is needed because if you can't really uh, if you don't know what data you have how can you think of securing it so that's where the major the major challenge or the major step come in to understand our data and if you remember while calculating the asset while calculating the risk the first step was to to understand our assets and this data is nothing but our asset right so if you talk about discovery so we can have discovery of our databases our uh, data from sorry data from databases data from big data data from microsoft sharepoint it could be from a dropbox google docs anything so classifying the data requires uh, knowing the location knowing the volume knowing the context of data as well right usually it might sound very clear uh, you know clear to you but you know it can't be done manually to be really honest you can't really do this manually for sure 
So what's the solution? Solution is uh, nowadays enterprise uh, work on because I'm not talking about mid size or small businesses because they don't really take care of a lot of uh, data classification. It's uh, because when it comes to data classification and have a mature security environment, it's it's uh, enterprises who are more concerned about it, right? So that's all about the environment and culture. So uh, you know, organization go with some uh, advanced tools for this, and these are okay. So some of the popular tool for data classification is Bold and James. So Bold and James is providing uh, a lot of solutions from data classification to regulatory compliances, data security. If you come to their data classification solution, you can see uh, they can actually discover the data from all the platform, all the, you know, from your databases, from big data, from cloud, and they can actually categorize them, label them, and then can perform the protection on it, right? So that's where you can see it can perform, it can discover the data from data in use, maybe from the office, uh, classify when you say the data in use that means for the endpoints who are endpoints who are actually using the data at that moment or maybe the data is rest maybe data which is currently uh, sitting idle maybe on the storage on the databases or data in motion which can be in the email classifier or maybe data on the wire so it can be notes classifier owa classifier mobile classifier mobile filter and everything you can even see the kind of formats the files as well sharepoint microsoft microsoft sharepoint files as well so that's how i discover the file there's one more tool which is titus uh, you can even look at their data classification tool uh, you know the product is classification suite and in this you can get to see how you know even even when you send an email you can even categorize them on to classified or you know confidential or whatever the category you want to go for so protecting your sensitive data there's a lot of you know marketing stuff going on as well so i hope i hope you got the idea about how the data classification works large enterprises uh, tend to do it uh, uh, with, the, with the automated tools like Bolin James and Titus. All right. So this is how the data classification work, which is very, very important step before you even go for risk assessment. I hope that was useful. You can ask me any question in the comment section. Bye for now.